Catherine Beard, the Liberal Democrat MEP for the South East. How important is space research for the South East of England? Well, in the UK, generally, it's, it's worth £9 billion a year to the economy, uh, in it, and especially in the South East. We have a, a very high part of that uh, in Oxfordshire when they're doing research and, and exploration, and in, the, in Portsmouth, as we, uh, we also know that they're um, doing space research. And we just heard uh, just yesterday about uh, uh, EADS, the, the defence and space company, of which um, uh, Astrium is their space unit, that they're restructuring the company. They're going to be uh, having a great number of job losses, but a focus on Portsmouth. What do you make of, of that news? Yes, I'm uh, really grateful and pleased that the, the people of Port Portsmouth have managed to hold their jobs uh, in, a, in a big restructuring, a, a pan-European restructuring, but they recognise that the skills and the expertise that we have in Portsmouth is worth investing into, um, and uh, that's a real boost for the Portsmouth economy. We've had some, some bad news recently, but this is really very, very good news for us. And how important an employer are companies like this in, in Portsmouth? How do they compare to other industries, traditional industries in the area? There are more people now employed in the space industry in Portsmouth than there are in, in the, the traditional shipbuilding. Space seems to be the new... Uh, We've been, always been very good in Portsmouth, like building ships to explore the world, and now we're building uh, equipment to explore the, the, the outer parts of, of uh, Earth and beyond. So that's really good news. How does this all fit into uh, conversations going on here in the European Parliament this week about space research? MEPs calling for more money, better coordination and so forth. Do those kind of ideas offer new opportunities for places like Portsmouth? Portsmouth and, and Oxfordshire? Oh, absolutely. Um, what we need to be looking at is Europe as a whole so that we have a, a, a sensible strategy that every country in the European Union uh, uses space. We all have mobile phones and sat-navs and all the other uh, equipment and, and um, TVs and, and all that comes from space. So uh, we all need to have access to that. So we need to structure the single market for that uh, within the European Union. At the moment, 80% of, uh, of all that kit is imported from the States. We need to, to, to gear up in Europe and we need to have a, for that, you need a strategy. Um, Oxfordshire uh, is one of the cutting edges for research, uh, exploration to Mars and, and, uh, and the Moon and elsewhere. We've been very good at the behind the scenes stuff. We don't gather the headlines because we don't shoot the rockets up from Oxfordshire but there are people working there and in Portsmouth and, and other parts of the country in, in uh, uh, that they're all working towards that and we need to make sure that we get the proper European funding in to support that research. And in fact just recently MEPs have, have backed a huge new research funding of which will be I think about 1.2 billion available for space research. How important then is it that places like Portsmouth and Oxfordshire go ahead and, and start bidding for this cash when it becomes available? Oh, well absolutely, it is, it is vital. It'll be the launching on the 1st of January is the next funding cycle and uh, we need to make sure that our scientists are, are up there and bidding. In fact the UK is one of the best recipients of, of European funding into research and that's for all sorts of research but uh, we are certainly leading the field when it comes to um, space research and technology behind it. And specifically on Portsmouth, given the recent uh, news about job losses and the, 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 the news that the company wants to focus efforts on Portsmouth, does that offer, do you think, that new focus and direction, does that offer more opportunities for the company to perhaps target funding from Europe? It, it does. It, it doubly helps because you have the big companies that are doing the, the, the big stuff, but then you will have the spin-outs from the universities and the SMEs are also being supported so that they can actually access fund, seed corn funding if you like, to, to help them feed into the very big businesses. The big businesses are, are doing the big stuff, but very often there's, there's one micro switch or a, a very tiny thing behind the scene that is being produced by a SME, a small company on a trading estate that people drive past every day and it's cutting edge technology being done there uh, in their neighbourhood and that is just the sort of thing that the European funding is designed to help.
And you hinted at it there, really, the fact that this industry, there's knock-on effects on universities and, and, and smaller businesses. Then in terms of jobs and the southeast economy, how important is this? Oh, oh very important. Uh, they may be, uh, as I said, done in small buildings and, and units, but their value and their worth is enormous and the skills are enormous and we heard this week that we're trying to get more young people into science education and this is just the sort of exciting technology that will be attracting them in at school level uh, and, and going on and actually having a very important role for the country and, and for the world in, in doing the research and the, and the building of this technology.